name is Lewis, and behind me is my 2022 Honda Civic Si. And today we're gonna to be installing the Op7 front grille lighting kit. This kit's pretty cool. If you saw my previous videos, I recently did a PRL intercooler upgrade, so now I wanna go ahead and install these grill lights to really show off the intercooler and make it pop. Now, this is gonna be a super easy install. I'll show you exactly what you need to do. And the kit is like the previous one that I did for the interior lighting on a different video. And I didn't do the auxiliary wires on that one. And then I said that I would explain it in a future video. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use that auxiliary wire. So that way when you unlock your car, the front grill lights and the interior lighting will automatically come on. You don't have to go in the app every single time and hit on. Now I know in the Honda community, there is a lot of confusion on how to get the dome lights out. I went ahead and figured it out for you. So, well, when I say Honda community, I mean specifically 11th gen Hondas. So I went ahead, figured that out for you, took the connector out and did everything and I'll explain it to you. It's crazy easy. You're not gonna have any issues. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started with the unboxing and yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and start with the unboxing. Okay, so the kit is split up into two boxes inside of the one box. And let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, immediately we can see that we have the control box right here. And then we have these two auxiliary wires. And these should be, if, these should be used in case you want the lights to come on when a certain power source is presented. So like, if you want it to come on when the door's unlocked, you would hardwire these in, and then your lights would automatically come on. This is a control box. This will connect to power, and then using this, you'll be able to download the Op7 app, and you'll be able to control all your lights from the, the app, and you can change it to a numerous, numerous kinds of features. So you can have it a steady light, strobes, multicolor lights, anything, you can do it within the app. Here we have some adhesive booster. Uh, this is in case you need a little extra, you know, oomph in case your, uh, your lights aren't sticking. Now this stuff is super strong, so I, I advise you to be careful with this because uh, once you get it on, it's gonna be a real pain to get it off. So this is a bag of the fuse taps. So it all depends on what car you have and what kind of fuses they use. They have three different sizes and they come with a, a spot for, here, I'll just take it out of the bag. So it comes for a spot with the fuse that you replace this with and then a 10 amp fuse. So yeah, you pick what size you need, you wire this in and this is gonna be where the power comes from. Or you can use the cigarette lighter option right here. And so yeah, you have multiple options to choose from, either fuse or your auxiliary power inside the cabin or what's usually known or what used to be known as a cigarette lighter. <laughs> All right, and then here we have the LED kit. Now this kit came with four LEDs, LED strips in case you wanted to go all out. I'm only really gonna be using one of these and it's just to highlight the intercooler in front of my car. So there you go. This is where it connects to. And then we got these two for the left and right side if that's how you wanted to use this kit. So whenever, whenever I mention that there's a left and right side on here, you would connect these together. And then once you connect these together, you're gonna pick the two that go on the left side and the two that go on the right side. And it's really up to you how you wanna deck this out. You don't have to use all four. You can just use one, you can use two, you can use three. Use the whatever number of LED strips you think is gonna get your look for your car. And that's all that's really inside of this box. For the next box we have some these should be clips, so that way you can route the wires through. You can screw this onto whatever you want to screw onto. 
write your wires through here, and then zip time them down if that's what you want to do. So this kit provides that for you. And then these are the extension wires. This is gonna, this is what you're gonna use to, that's gonna give you the length. If you wanna route these across a large path, then there's gonna be more than enough cable on here for you to get the job done. And it, it comes with four of them. So don't worry, you have enough for all four. And then it also includes with a series of zip ties for you. Uh, they're all different sizes for it really just depends on whatever you need done This box is also including some velcro so in case you need to use the adhesive side and then uh, Put like for me in the past I've put a piece of velcro on the control module and a piece of velcro on the car side and I've just uh, Mounted it up that way so you have two strips of each Velcro, both the hook and the ladder, in case you need to use that. And then next we have some more clips and screws for you to uh, wire your harness there. Um, yep, pretty self-explanatory, nothing crazy here. Um, this kit includes everything you need to get the job done. And that's it, that's all that comes in this kit. So this is the power module that connects to the actual module itself. All you gotta do is connect up like that. This is your module. And this is the ground, and then this is gonna be your power wire, just so there's no confusion. Also, if you choose to go with the auxiliary power or the cigarette lighter um, for your power, just uh, know there is a switch on here. Very nice. So as you can tell, I already have my uh, front bumper off. This is something that I did whenever I installed the PRL intercooler. I'm just finishing the job by installing these lights. Now, I think it's worth mentioning that these lights are pretty long. I believe they're like two feet long. So since the kit includes four of them, I think that's more than enough length and more than enough strips to get whatever job that, uh, well, whatever look that you're trying to aim for. And yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by prepping the surface that I plan to uh, stick this on. I already found where I want to. And uh, all I did was take some isopropyl alcohol and a microfiber towel, and I just wiped down the surface just to remove any contaminants. Super easy, I already did it um, off camera. But next I'm gonna use this adhesive booster. And uh, like I mentioned before, be careful with this stuff. Only use it when you found the area where you plan to permanently install this. It's very, it, it's strong. And once you lay the strip on after applying this, there is no going back. You are gonna ruin the, the adhesive. So uh, yes, just be mindful and make sure that you have it laid out just the way you want to. And there you go, it's really that simple. And now we can start laying down the LED strip. The reason why I'm using the adhesive booster is because I don't want this to ever fall off. And like I said, I'm just pulling the tape as I'm laying it down. That way I don't make a mess and mess this up somehow. Okay, so originally I was just going to install the one light right above the intercooler, but it didn't look as good, it's not bright enough, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna install the lower one. That way it fills in the, it fills in the light better, it fills in the intercooler and the grill a lot better. And then while I'm at it, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the top of the grill as well. Uh, I'm just gonna find a spot to put these on, stick them on there, make sure they're nice and on there. And yeah, we'll see how it looks. And uh, after this, I'll go ahead and show you how I route how I routed the wires into the cabin, and 
then we can move on to actually wiring it together and yeah it should be super easy uh, i'm going to show you how i wired it together outside of the car first right there in the in the fuse box in the engine bay uh, just because it's a lot easier to show you than trying to go underneath the steering column where there's another fuse box in there but it's easier to show you here but i'll go ahead and tell you which fuse i used inside of the car so that way you know which one to use and then once i'm inside the car i can show you how to set up the dome lights as well so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and put these on and we can move on all right and it's on i'll go ahead and show you what it looks like Okay, so this is just to kind of give you an idea on how long the provided wires are that you can use to route wherever it is that you need to route it to within your car. Okay, so um, I went ahead and kind of rough uh, routed the wires, well, the wire where I want it to. And so this is a male and female connector. It only goes in one way, so you can't mess it up. And then once you put it in, you should hear click into place. And now we can start zip tying the wiring wherever we wanna keep it. And next we can go ahead, connect it to the module, connect a power source, and then we should be able to turn this on and see what we can do. Okay, so I know this is probably a little difficult to see, mainly because where I'm routing it through is gonna be through the firewall. So if you look right here, there's this rubber grommet type thing and it's used for the wiring that goes from inside the engine bay to inside the car. All I did was move it over with a flathead screwdriver and slip the wire through, well wires, and yeah, it'll make it through the other side. Now, be careful when you're using any kind of tools to move this, you don't want to cut any of the wires that are there. Just be very gentle and yeah once we get the wires through i'll show you what it looks what we're gonna do inside of the car okay so this is just for demonstration purposes only i went ahead and removed the fuse for the horn on the fuse box in the engine bay and i put it in here now i just temporarily put it together i didn't crimp it down and heat shrink it or anything so these do come with a heat shrink for you once you do crimp it down Go ahead, put a heat gun to it or a lighter and it'll seal the connection. Now, I went ahead, removed the fuse for the horn, put it in to this empty, it was empty, and then it, this thing comes with its own, um, with its own fuse. So all we gotta do is just hook it up right there. Okay, now the module has power. So when you connect, the power connector and you connect the ground. I went ahead and connected the ground right here. Um, it also share, it's the same ground that the battery uses. So once you hooked up your ground and you hooked up your power to the module and you went ahead and connected your light, all you have to do is scan this little QR code. It'll take you to where you can download the app and then once you download the app, we can go ahead and start controlling the module. Okay, so as you can see, I went ahead and installed the front bumper back on. So I'm gonna go ahead and explain this to you outside of the car. This is what is known as the control box. This is what you're gonna connect to via Bluetooth. And using the OP7 app, you can use this to make the lights solid, strobe, uh, pulsing, you can change to a crazy amount of colors, uh, completely up to you what you decide you wanna do. So, all we gotta do is once you routed your wires, you're gonna connect the other end to these right here, and that's really it. Once you put power, connect to the app, do what you wanna do with the lights. But what we wanna know is how do we use these auxiliary wires? There's a red and a black one. You might have to use both, you might have to use one. It all depends on your car and how your car works using the dome lights. It depends on whether your car is using positive or negative type stuff, I don't know, either way. 
So uh, the Civic provides the dome to the dome lights, 12 volts to 13 volts DC. I know because I measured it using a meter. So we're gonna use this red wire. And I'm gonna show you how to hook this up to the dome light. So this other black one, there's no use for it. So you can cut it, you can wrap it up, you can do whatever you want to it, but you don't need the black one. You only need the red one to make the lights automatically come on when you unlock the doors. So now to access the dome lights, I've seen some YouTube videos where guys try to pry it down like this and yeah, that doesn't work. So that's the wrong way. So what you wanna do is grab the headliner, make sure your sunroof is open and all you gotta do is just pull down. It starts popping out of place. And then you can stick your hand in there and then start pushing it down. And then it comes right out just like that. This right here, this is the connector that you need to access. All you gotta do is pull it out and that's it. So once you access that connector, you have this red wire. So I went ahead and took a meter and the red wire produces 12 volts DC. So that tells me that that's the power wire that I need to tap into. And I already went ahead and routed my auxiliary wire. So the lights come on whenever the dome lights come on or whenever I hit the unlock button on the, on the key fob. So all I'm gonna do is just take this pin that I crimped on and I'm just gonna slide it in there. And there we go. Now, whenever I hit the unlock button, the exterior lights should automatically go on as long as I have that setting in the app. And I'll go ahead and show you what that setting looks like. Okay, so now that we have everything set up, I'm gonna go ahead and take you through the Op7 app. And this is gonna help you control the style of lighting that you want and what color lighting you want. So let's go ahead. We're on the Honda Civic grill lights because that's what we want to control. There's a rename your device feature right here and you can name your lights whatever you want. After you've selected, mine's highlighted in red, yours will be too. We're gonna hit next. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit the on button. As you can see, we're already on white. So I'm gonna deselect white and now we're in the different color wheels and as we don't mind that. As we cycle through, we can see that it changes colors. We can also control the brightness if I want to dim it down or turn it completely off. Even brighter, there we go. We can select a strobing effect. We can select a color fade. There you go. We can select cycle, it'll cycle through all the lights. You can choose the speed at which it cycles. You can choose the brightness at which it cycles. Sound sync. I believe this has to do with music. So if you had your control box inside and you're playing music, the lights might change or do different things uh, to the beat of the music. Now, I'm just gonna stick with solid and white for now. I do like, I'm not gonna lie, I do really like this yellow. I think it looks super cool with the red. But for now, I'm just gonna stay with white. And that's really it, guys. I mean, you can go back to the Bluetooth settings and you can choose to control two of your lights at the same time or choose one of your other ones at the same time. And yep, there's nothing much to it. So that's it. I'll, ne next, I'm gonna go ahead and show you uh, which fuse I used. Okay, so now that we have everything wired up and the dome lights closed, we can go ahead and take a look what will happen whenever I use my key fob to unlock and lock the doors. So here's my key fob. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the unlock button and you should see them come on. Yep, right away they come right on, super bright. And then when I hit the lock button on my key fob, it will also shut off by itself. So it'll take a few seconds. There you go, completely off. Okay, so now let's talk about the fuse that I use to tap into so I can be able to turn the lights on and off just by clicking the key fobs. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and stick a screenshot right here so that way you can see 
what I'm looking at. And it is circuit, or I'm sorry, it is fuse tap number 21. This is for the cargo accessory socket. It's a 20 amp fuse. So all I did was extract the 20 amp fuse and put it in the empty slot on the wire tap. And yeah, that allowed me to have the lights come on whenever I turn the, well, I, when I unlock the doors and when I lock the doors, it'll uh, turn them back off. So that's pretty much it, guys. Wraps up this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. Like I said, this is a crazy easy install. All you gotta do is put the lights where you want to, route the wiring where you want to, and yeah, I mean, the hardest part is probably just routing the wiring is through and then taking apart the dome light a little bit. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram and I'll see you on the next one.